Hi YouTube and hello Libra. Libra, this is going to be your comprehensive uh, for November Celtic Cross spread. And then I will do some tea leaf fortune cards at the end and see how they tie in to your reading. So if you haven't already subscribed, please do. We would love to have you on my channel and keep me motivated, inspired to do these. I appreciate it. Okay. So doing a reading for Libra or the greatest good spirit. And then our angel spirit guides and higher self help us for the greater good message. Or Libra. Okay, Libra. Let's see what we get. For your current situation card. The Magician. All about manifestations. Making things happen. Knowing that you have all the tools to make something happen. Uh, being the Magician is about being resourceful. Being open-minded and uh, being in that receiving mode so that you can receive. <laughs> then we have juggling with the two of pentacles. We have a challenge is kind of multitasking, juggling all the things that you have to take care of and keeping everything in a nice harmony type of balance. That is the challenge. The foundation of the issue is because of work. <clears throat> there's something, there's some kind of issue going on with work. And that might be something that you're trying to manifest. It might have to do with your work. In your past circumstance, we have Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands comes in. Um, as a gift from the universe, it's like a portal of energy, of creativity, where you have that inspiration, you have the inspiration to start something new, start a new venture, possibly a business, since we have Eight of Pentacles, something new starting. Then in the How Are You Feeling stage or place, we have the Nine of Wands. You're feeling like you're having to muster up all the willpower that you can get and endurance to push through a situation. Even though he's wounded, even though it's been hard, he still guards. Then in your near future position, we have the sun. So we have divine help, divine intervention, prayers being heard and answered, prayers being answered. Also, you might have a surge of energy that comes in to your awareness, have a lot more energy than you maybe normally have. King of Cups is in how you are feeling. So you're feeling really warm and happy and diplomatic loving towards people have your emotions in check you might not be running to anybody talking about your emotions but you're definitely the one that can listen to everybody else's issues this is how you are feeling then in your external circumstances we have sudden change with the tower we have a sudden change Something that was really shook up and not expected. Something like that happened. See how it affected your hopes and fears. Made you feel stabbed in the back. Made you feel betrayed. Whatever happened. This is the fear. Is that you will be uh, betrayed, stabbed in the back may have happened once before and therefore you're weary of it in your outcome libra in the outcome we're going to see things from a different perspective with the hangman we're going to see things like with the omniscient point of view uh, being able to see 
and that and that's honestly that's something that Libra is probably a champ at is being able to look at both sides of a discussion or a problem or and being able to see from all points of view. It's also about enlightenment and going inside to find some answers to. And it's also a waiting period. On the very literal note, <laughs> it's a waiting period. Something that you've sacrificed. Something that you've sacrificed and you're just in waiting right now. We have Queen of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's do some fortune cards and see if we can place them in this reading somehow. Oh. For Libra. This is for Libra. For Libra. Get two more. Okay. See what we have. Whoa, got a lot. I didn't mean to grab this many, but oh well, here we go. Here we go. We have Tortoise slowly but surely getting ahead. Probably because of this tower moment. The after effects of the tower moment. Then we have Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. This would make sense on the hanged man position where you're going to have to wait for some rewards to come reaping in. It is the sacrifice that you make and it will come back to you, will come back to you with financial gain. And we have the month of February. It means something to somebody. And we have dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. And to do with this Ten of Swords, this betrayal feeling. All about that. We have Butterfly. A change for the better. Definitely comes down here on the tower. Change for the better. I really like that title, actually. Mice, Discord among friends or family. People not getting along. That might be the external with the with the tower. I'm gonna put it there. It makes sense. Then barrel. You feel like something is lacking in your life. Perhaps love, money, or goals. Hmm. That might be what you fear. And then jug is lighthearted, carefree time. That's that waiting. That waiting period could be a lighthearted time. I'm gonna pull um, an angel guidance card because I think with your reading being kind of heavy, Libra, you might benefit from one of those cards. Let's see. Okay, Spirit, what can we get to help Libra out? going through this kind of intense time what can we what can we do to help Libra out Ooh, these are so big ah. one card for Libra here we go Angel of Procrastination. Angel of Procrastination. Let me get the book. We'll see what that one's all about. Angel of Procrastination, number 27. 27, let's see here. You have the focus and clarity to get the job done, so begin it now. You have received this card because your angel of procrastination has heard your pleas for assistance. Dear one, what is stopping you from achieving your goals? Why do you doubt that you don't have all you need to finish the job? That's that magician card. 
At the times of procrastination, we experience a lack of focus and clarity, and your mind can become muddled and confused. Time can become your enemy. Uh, your angel of procrastination is not here to judge or chastise you. He is here to motivate you and show you ways to restore your natural state of peace. Go outside for a short walk and change your focus. If you can't physically go outside, then silently quit, uh, quiet, quiet yourself and close your eyes and start counting down from 10 to 1. As you say each number, take a deep breath and exhale. Focus on clearing the issue that is causing you to procrastinate. As you feel calmer and more focused, ask your angel of procrastination to show you ways to get back on track. Visualize the feeling of how great you will feel when you finish that project. There's that um, heart and mind of coherence I was talking about. And your affirmation is, I am focused, motivated, and energetic. With the sun, we are energetic. And I utilize my time efficiently to achieve my goals. Beautiful. Beautiful Libra. Sounds like everything's going to be okay. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you watching and spending this time with me.